Willian's eight year tenure is coming to an end. And then approximately 10 players are placed on the transfer list. I'm going to give you the players I think are going to leave Chelsea. And I'm going to give you the evidence to back it up. Make sure you stay tuned. Let's go. I did a video early last week explaining that Chelsea could potentially sign six players to come in. Frank Lampard wants six players. What does that mean? It means we're going to have to find that money from somewhere. We've got a transfer budget. We've got a war chest, but we need to generate the remaining money. And this is how Chelsea are going to generate that money. If you're new to the channel, help a brother out, hit that like button. It really helps small channels like mine to just get exposure for new people to see it and to spread the Chelsea love. So let's do it. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and let's continue. It's evident that Chelsea are going to definitely take the approach that basically every club in the world apart from Manchester City takes. Sell to buy approach. You need to get players out because you can't be paying high wages for people that are sitting on the bench. And we have got a lot of dead wood and a lot of not needed wood on that bench. So let's get into it. Starting with Willian. It is reported that Chelsea offered Willian a two year deal. I cannot believe they even offered him a two year deal. Let me tell you some of the players that weren't offered that. John Terry, Frank Lampard went to Manchester City because we didn't offer him that. Didier Drogba weren't offered two-year deals. Cahill even wasn't offered a two-year deal. The only player in our history off the top of my head that was offered a two-year deal with one plus option was David Luiz. And even he took one plus an option. William wants three years. And where is he going? You will not believe this. William's going to Arsenal. Apparently, Arsenal are offering him £250,000 a week on a three-year deal with an option of one additional year. If this is true, this has got to be the worst piece of business. They're going to be so bad. Look, they beat us, but they're going to be so behind us for years to come because this is stupid business. They don't learn from their mistakes. It is so evident. It's over and over again, repeated mistakes. This is good for Chelsea. We need to move on. And it's about time that William left. It feels like a fresh start. It feels like a refreshing feature. In regards to the William deal, I don't know how you guys feel because... William going to Arsenal is almost a trend now. Luis went there. Peter Cech went there. William Gallas went there. And I, it's making me think, am I comfortable with us selling so many players to Arsenal? Personally, I don't care because they're all at the tail end of their like, duration. William is not as good as he once was. And if anything, I think he's a replacement for Aubameyang. What does that mean? It means they're in big trouble. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I wish him all the success in the future, unless he goes to Arsenal. Unless, if he goes to Arsenal, I want him always to be one step away from winning something. I don't want him to win anything. <laughs> but if he leaves and goes somewhere else, I hope he racks up trophies outside of England. I hope, honestly, for me, go to Inter Miami, man. He's going to love the lifestyle there. He's going to enjoy it. He'll be the best player in the league by far, banging in goals and just being a leader. I don't understand why he needs to stay in London. Like, I don't understand his desperation. He's won everything he could win with Chelsea apart from the Champions League. I think it's time to move on. But who am I to tell him? Maybe his kids are comfortable in school. Maybe his family loves London. Who am I? Do you know what I mean? So I wish him all the best. Frank Lampard is dead certain that he wants Declan Rice and Ben Chilwell. Those players are integral in his plans. He needs a left back. He needs a centre half. I don't blame him, I'm not going to lie, regarding the centre-half. Declan Rice looks like a promising player. The left-back, on the other hand, I don't like Ben Chilwell. I think £75 million is extortionate. We could approximately get Jadon Sancho in a nice package for that. But he doesn't want to do that. We need a new keeper. But these are the outgoings now that I think are going to happen. So we know that Pedro is gone. We know Pedro and William are going. Free, free agents, they're out of the club. Secondly, we're go we are going to lose a centre-half. One of Kurt Zuma, Antonio Rudiger and Christensen will be going. If possible, Chelsea will try ship both out. Or all three out. Literally, I think Chelsea are so anti these players right now because Frank Lampard's been let down by them. I think Frank Lampard had high standards for Rudiger. I think he thought Rudiger was better than he is. I think he overestimated Rudiger's ability. And I personally believe the one that's going to leave is Andreas Christensen. I think Christensen will leave the club and move on. 
I think we'll generate around about 40 million, 35 million for him because he's a good defender. He's just not a Premier League defender. I think once you start looking at what else can leave the squad, there's a lot of potential in this team to generate funds. For example, we've already generated 15 million euros from Palasic. That's already on the book. That's extra money. Marina Garaskaeva is going to move to our left back, Emerson, an Italian international who's going to leave and he's going to be a fantastic generator of money. Emerson's opportunity at Chelsea was minimal. Emerson's opportunity was stop-start due to injuries and lack of commitment off the pitch. Frank Lampard wants a trainer. He doesn't want somebody who is not going to take it seriously. He was a role model professional himself as a player, so he holds everyone to that regard. Whether I believe this is correct or not, I think Emerson was a better choice than Alonso. But if Frank doesn't fancy him, he's got to go because we can generate a good 25 million for him. Sadly, another player whose tenure at Chelsea is coming to an end is Jorginho. Jorginho is another player that is going to be leaving the club. Jorginho fascination with Sari and that romance, that bromance is almost as a father and son relationship. Empoli with Sari. Napoli with Sari. Chelsea with Sari. It's only destiny that he's going to be Juventus with Sari. So I think that deal is going to be found a way to be completed. Maybe it's going to be a loan for three years with 10 million installments and then they sign him for 20 million and then we somehow recoup the money that we bought him for. But I think that deal will get done. I'm sad to see Jorginho go. I love the player. But I think it needs to happen for his career and I think for us to move on. Michi Batshuayi is another player that will be leaving the club. Michi Batshuayi's valuation that Chelsea have placed on his head is ridiculous. They're demanding for £40 million. I don't understand how you can ask for £40 million for an asset that you've not even given exposure to. We'll be lucky to get £20 million, in my opinion, for Michi Batshuayi. And not due to a lack of talent, more prominently due to a lack of opportunity for the player to present his skill set to highlight his attributes, to highlight how much of a goal scorer and an instinctive finisher he is. Yet, I, I don't doubt Marina that she'll find a way to get 30 million or 40 million for the player. So I, I pray he goes somewhere and he absolutely smashes it. Michi Bashwai, good luck to you, my friend. Looking at the midfield with Jorginho going, I genuinely believe with Kai Havertz being linked to the club and there being good progress in that deal actually occurring, Ross Barkley's tenure at Chelsea is going to end. Ross Barkley is a player that, in my opinion, was a great gamble. We got him for the cheap, 16 million. Now we're going to flip him for, what, 30, 35 million. It was an investment signing. He did exactly what a 16 million pound player was meant to do. Come in, provide cover, play minutes here and there, injuries arise. He's, he's there. Whilst I didn't think Ross Barkley is a great player, and I think he's very limited, I think he adds a lot to the squad in the sense that he's very good to be a fifth choice cover. There's not many clubs that can say, you know what, Ross Barkley is our cover player, fifth choice centre midfielder. He starts for a lot of Premier League clubs, maybe bottom six, that, a top, six, top six downwards. I think he makes a good dent. I think he starts for Arsenal, personally. So I think it'll be sad to see him go, but bye, Ross. I think Kepa Arifa Balaga is going to leave as well. Kepa Arifa Balaga was signed for an extortionate fee, and I think, realistically, it's going to be very difficult to get that money back for him. But... And this is the key but. The club needs to loan him out. He needs to leave the club, get those wages off the books and somehow regurgitate whatever money we can. Let him go somewhere, rebuild his reputation. Who knows, he might develop as a goalkeeper. Could potentially come back and be the number one after he regains confidence. But we could also get some loan installments and then flip him. Just try to recoup as much of that money as possible. We did it with Maratta. Hopefully we can do it with him as well. I just think it was wrong place at the wrong time. And the poor guy's going to have to move on now with his career. And I think it's best for both parties. All in all, I think we're going to sell at least six players. Six to seven players from this current squad. And the six are going to come in. That would be a good signing coming in. And it will be good players going out. There will be a, a lot of money. We'll break even. We'll most probably spend a hundred million net. So... 100 million from our own pocket. That's what it means. If you guys don't know what it means, let me help you out a bit. But I don't know whether it's enough to close the, like, bridge the gap to Manchester City and Liverpool. I think we lack in the managerial aspect side, where I think Klopp and Pep are so far ahead of Frank Lampard. So 
I think it's going to be another stepping stone year. And it's going to be another lot of frustrating draws and losses. But it will be good for the club. I think we'll develop in the long run and it will be in a better place. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it was fun to make. These are my predictions. I don't have any sources. I'm telling you right now. I'm just a fan like the rest of you. So if you guys like to hear my views, you like my opinions, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and tune in. Peace out. I'm out. I'll keep you up to date with Chelsea as much as I can. Peace.